Well, hello and welcome to my channel. You know, I have an unboxing today. It's not the unboxing I wanted to do. Um, I, I picked this up a few weeks ago uh, at ZLC. They had like a sale. It was like 30% off. I got a great deal on it and I got some other figures as well. But I wanted to have uh, both figures available so that you guys, so we could take a look at them, compare them, contrast them, right? But you know what? It's been really difficult for me to find the 50th anniversary Green Arrow. So, um, right now this is about all I have so let's go ahead and take a look at it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unbox it in a second but before we do let's take a look at the box or the I guess the card not really much here you know the green arrow symbol Migos heroes world's greatest uh, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality DC I like this outfit on the back you know I'm, I'm thinking maybe I can put together something that'll look like that because that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Marty Abrams, uh, consultant Dr. Migo, the sculptors Tyler Ham, and the seamstress Ra Rachel Baker. You know what, um, this looks like the 50th anniversary uh, one. I mean, the, the head sculpt looks like the old one. So once we get it out of the box, let's take a closer look at it and see how, um, how closely it resembles the old one. Well, I will say out of the box, he looks amazing. Look at that profile. You know, these uh, new Mego bodies have 24 points of articulation, which is going to be really cool for the Green Arrow, you know? He's one of those dynamic superheroes who's always, you know, I guess using his agility and speed against his opponents. Love those boots. You know, uh, the hands that Mego uses for these are great. They have uh, exceptional grasping. Look at that. Uh, I am a little concerned because you know what, um, like like most of you guys, I had to be really careful when I first figured out the placement of the joints because if you're not careful, you can snap them. But I am concerned about this. I don't know if you can see it, but the waist is super wobbly. I'm a little worried about that. I wonder if there's a way to tighten it up. If you guys know how to tighten these bodies up, please let me know. Because I mean... Yeah, that's, that's pretty wiggly. You know what I did do though? Um, I managed to pick up a couple of things from, from other sources. I've got a, a backpack arrow uh, case. I've got some green hands. I've got an outfit that I picked up from uh, Dr. Migo. And I've got a hat that I picked up also from Classic TV Toys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change his outfit and see how close to the, uh, the 50th anniversary, anniversary version that I can get. Okay, so give me a second. I'll get him undressed and I'm going to take a look at that waist too and see what's going on. That's just, uh, that's a little much. Be right back. Well, since I have him apart, I thought I might as well change his hands because you know, I wanted to change his outfit too. Uh, so let me go ahead and change those hands. And to change the hands out, it's pretty simple. I just... Put them in like a little dish or bowl and add some hot water and it doesn't take long i mean the plastic uh, becomes very malleable quickly just a few seconds and they just pop right out so being stubborn now let me get the others and pop those in sometimes i have to soak these too but if the if the sockets are still a little I guess um, not melted, but you know, a little loose. They'll work fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle the body because I had that that wiggly uh, joint here in the uh, in the hips or the the waist. So I'm just going to add a drop of glue into that socket. We'll put it in there before it hardens. Yeah, pushed out all the excess. So yeah, <laughs> you know that's that's a that's a tight waist now. Oh, okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get him dressed in my new outfit and check him out. So uh, give me just a sec. Well, I got my Green Arrow, uh, I guess, kind of modified, right? I took care of that wobble in his waist. You know, it's not wobbling anymore. 
and he still has that cool range of motion. So just a little drop of, of um, hot glue in there just did the trick. And then I was able to put on some green hands because I wanted to change out his outfit. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this outfit. You know, the Topps outfit's really, really cool. It's got some vinyl cuffs here. I love this hoodie. This hoodie is just, I might just use this hoodie in, in my new outfit, but really neat piece. Uses a Velcro. And then it's got the, uh, I guess, neon lime uh, bottoms and a really cool quiver. It also comes with an excellent bow. That was really cool. And I really love these boots. I think these boots first appeared with the um, Legolas figure and the Aragorn figure for Lord of the Rings. Really neat boots. I never got those figures. I'm gonna see if I can find them on the secondary market. But um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have my one figure and outfits. Now, you know what? You know, it's difficult to find the 50th anniversary Green Arrow. I mean, you can, but you're gonna pay some money for it. And I thought, yeah, if I'm gonna pay some money, I mean, this is a little cheaper route, honestly, but if I'm gonna pay some money, I'm just gonna get another outfit. You know, I've got the figure. Might as well just, it's easier to store an extra outfit than it is an extra figure. So I thought I'd do this. I thought I'd get the, um, the Dr. Amigo suit. And I was very pleasantly surprised by not only the stitching, really neat with a little turtleneck, but the velour uh, cuffs. This is so reminiscent of the old one. You know, if you had this guy um, back in the 70s, early 80s, you know, you know what I'm talking about. They had the velour on there. Really traditional, old school. So this might actually work out better for me because I also like the snaps, you know. The snaps were something I remember doing as a kid, you know, getting your outfit on and then using the snaps to, to I guess, complete the, the look or whatever, get it on. But really, really happy with this outfit. It's gonna look great on him. I also managed to pick up a, um, a hat from Classic TV Toys. This hat is made out of rubber. It's a little bit more um, pliable than the boots are, but it looks like the same color, it looks spot on. The boots may be a tad lighter, but when you have the separation between them, <laughs> you can't even notice. Same thing with the gloves, you can't even notice that. And then to complete the look, I got this um, quiver. This, well, it's not really a quiver, they call it an arrow case. And I had to get my heat gun out and bend it just a little bit, just so it would contour his back because it was not it was flat and when I did a test run to try it on it was really kind of like bulky in the back and it didn't um, it didn't really fit well so this is going to be the uh, the quiver that I'm going to use it's kind of like the old school uh, quiver or case so now that I've got his gloves on fixed his waist let's go ahead and get him dressed and you know um like I said this <laughs> this reminds me of my old Migos, you know, when I would swap outfits and stuff, or, you know, Action Jackson had a, had a variety of different outfits. But this kind of like brings me back. So, slips right on. Looks like the fit's perfect. Well, it should be, right? So, you know, I would use, um, I would use Dr. Migos' uh, website as a source for this outfit. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Even if you got the new 50th anniversary guy, I would, I would still probably get this outfit. You, you'll get it, and you'll be, um, you know, if you had the old guy, you know, it'd be brought, brought back 50 years very, very quickly. Some of you guys don't open your figures. You know, you just collect them. So maybe just to have it, just to have it. I guess I don't know. I mean, not the figure, but the outfit. I can understand the collecting, you know, and keeping it pristine. Hopefully your kids appreciate Amigo figures or grandchildren will come along and tear it up for you. There we go, snap. Really cool, look at that. And again, be mindful of the joints where they are because you don't want to snap your, your figure. But look at that. And I'm not even done. Let me go ahead and get those boots on. They should slip right over the footsies. And they do. Wow. Neat. Let me get that arrow case on. And um, 
as I said before, I contoured it, so it should fit really, really nicely. Let's see if I can get it over these little epaulets or whatever they are. Not epaulets, um, I don't know, just shoulder, I don't know. Okay, got it on here. Oh, I might have to adjust the waist. But really happy with that velour. I mean, this is just a cool figure, and Migo's really done a good job with him. Wow. What do you think? Really cool. Let me get his bow. Let's see. I would hold it in the right hand and pull with my left. Neat. How's this gonna go? Because that waist is um, just empty space, you know? Might have to do a foot stand or something. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe not. I saw somebody with a, uh, a foot stand on a, on a post that they put on Facebook, and I thought, what an interesting concept. And then I went to look for a foot stand, and I couldn't find one. Hmm. Having a hard time with this. Well, there we go. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. Really happy with this guy. It's my version of the 50th anniversary uh, Green Arrow. You know, I, I do want to get some other figures too. Um, let's see. I think the next one I'm going to get is probably the um, the Green Lantern before he dries up. Both versions, right? I did get a um, a Green uh, Lantern outfit. You know, so I I don't want to get the John Stewart version too. But yeah, really happy with this guy. So, you know, they do have um, some of the ZLC, ZLC has some of the, um, the tops versions left still. So, you know, you may want to pick one up. And if you, um, if you want an old school ver version, this is kind of like uh, an option for you. And you'll just love the velour that's here. These accents on the cuff and on the shoulders. You'll just really enjoy them, honestly. And the, and the little snap in the back will take you back as well. So, well, you know, that's my green arrow. Until next time, you guys stay safe and I'll see you guys soon and uh, try to stay cool in this hot uh, weather that we've been having. You know, it's been triple digits here for a while. We've been breaking records. So I just got back from Ohio and it was pretty, pretty warm there too. I don't know if they were breaking records, but it wasn't, you know, <laughs> I, I live in a desert. So uh, triple digit heat's kind of like the norm. And you know, when it got to 92, people were kind of like freaking out, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. Until next time, uh, see ya, bye-bye.